Good morning everyone, or hello, if it's not the morning for you. Um, I'm Nick, I'm from Cardiff Life Drawing, and I'm back to do some more drawing, and I think some of you are joining me today. I hope you're all well. So it's another marvellous day in Cardiff, and uh, we're going to draw. It's first, I was going to say it's first thing in the morning, it's not first thing in the morning. It's only 9.30. We're going to do some warm-up drawings before the day starts, and then we can uh, get on with all the other things we need to do. So, I hope you're all well. Give us a little thumbs up if you're there watching, or if you enjoy the class. If you're new to the class and you enjoy it, then uh, do subscribe as well. I'm going to make myself disappear. Boop! Like that. Whoosh. Drop myself over there. Good start. Whee! And we're going to drop Photoshop up. Okay! So, hello Myla, how are you? Nice to see some people uh, are working with me live. That's always fun. Because uh, I'm just a guy that's sitting here, drawing on his own, talking to himself. So it's always nice when people say hello. And uh, for those of you who are watched later on, because people are watching this uh, much later on, then uh, do give a thumbs up. That's always useful. It gives me an idea that people are enjoying it and make sure you're telling people about it and they can subscribe because I guess that makes me think that people are interested and I can carry on. So I'm going to do my usual thing. I suppose it's a little bit different to what lots of other people are doing right now. There's still life drawing classes online which is kind of cool. You can uh, you can tap into life drawing classes and have a live model and draw people all around the world. I've seen lots of people doing that on Instagram. It looks awesome. It looks fab. I'm doing a slightly different thing where I'm kind of redrawing older drawings that I did. Some of them are very quick, so these drawings we're looking at here are only quick couple of minutes studies. They're warm-up sketches, and I kind of do it slower and add a bit more to it and kind of rework the drawings. But I think pe some people are finding that useful to see um, a process of drawing. So let's plow on. We've got this young lady leaning on a pole. I think this is from a model pack from Proco. So I'm sure lots of you know Proco if you're looking at drawing videos online. His anatomy classes are amazing. And uh, a little while back I bought some model packs, still imagery, and I sometimes draw those as a warm-up. So this is my drawing of a photograph, and I'm redrawing the drawing. Yeah, get your head around that. So, with that in mind, I am going to start with my little boxes that I love to draw. So I'm just working across the top, across the back of the spine, across the shoulders, doing something like this. And uh, we'll see where it ends up. So I've got my rib cage somewhere there, and I'm going to flatten my pelvis. It's quite flexible, this young lady. And it's almost... It's almost uh, horizontal there, isn't it? So something like this. So this is going to get me going. Now, if you've drawn me before, my first drawing is never necessarily my best. That's why we're doing warm-up drawings, because we'll see where it takes us. Um, the spine is over to one side, and then it comes it's over to a little bit over to one side down on the lower torso as well. But this is very small compared to this. Uh, this isn't as small, but this distance is still smaller than this distance. So I want that slightly three quarters rotation. Um, I'm obviously going to get a little bit of stretch down here to the hip. And there's going to be a squash on this other side, but we'll, we'll get there now. If I zoom in a bit, am I a long way out? I am going to do the top of the buttocks. I'm going to build up here and I'm going to think about the back of the sacrum. So sometimes I'll put it in like this these days. Um, so just dropping in like that lightly. And we'll see. And I'm going to roll the buttock line into that tailbone around that sacrum and I'm going to pull that buttock muscle down. Um, let's get a bit more form in here and get some glutinous maximus, like that butterfly shape. That would want to be fairly light. I'm just looking for forms inside shapes, really, so it doesn't become like this. Your drawing doesn't become like a sack with no structure. I'm trying to create a bit more structure. And then I've got the glutinous maximus here, doing something like that. 
and I might raise this buttock. So I'm gonna just draw it like that at the moment, and we'll see. See where it takes me. So I'm gonna come out on the hip, drop down for that gluteus maximus coming out on that leg, and we're gonna drop, start dropping in my legs. I should really. Let me get this side going, get this wide enough. Let me get my lengths on my leg before I get too picky. So, this length should feel similar to one of those lengths, probably. And I gotta make sure I get enough angle on it. Suggest the knee and then drop a bit lower and get that the lower part of the leg and about the same length again. I'm naturally going to drop in a calf shape and I'm going to stop about halfway. I'm going to straight away drop in the ankle bone, it's fairly side on, and then drop in my generic foot. So the triangle, but I've got the heel and then the length of the foot and maybe breaking the toe slightly. So the toe is at a slightly different angle. And we'll see now if my lengths, if we've got enough angle, these lengths will work as well. I'm drawing the back of the calf. So I'm going to draw that shape right in like that. And I've got a little, there's a little bit of a diagonal angle to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ankle bones. Now I'll show you a couple of things I've done. First of all, the calf needs like an angle like that, and the ankle bones need to be angled like that. Okay. So slightly aware of that. That wants to feel like it's on the same plane or a similar plane. And this leg is not vertical. If I do that like that, that's a vertical line. It's slightly at an angle. Okay. So make sure you get that angle in if you're doing that. feel like I've got a bit more length on that one than the other leg, but I'll run with it and see what it takes me. Okay, I'm going to plow just to plow a little bit off that upper torso. Mine, and we'll jump in and we'll see what we're going to do with it. Just going to use, if I was doing some paper, I would very lightly just run across the drawing with the rubber. Line out a bit. I know that my spine is dropping in here. Let's get this shoulder in, this deltoid, and it's going to sit in up there, isn't it? And I'm going to have the lats coming down into the rib. All right, we've got a nice squash in there. At this stage, I'm just going to drop the neck in. So I've got this spine in, so I need to feel like the tube of the neck can sit in there and. I'm going to drop in a generic head shape, which could well be wrong yet. I can come back to it. But I don't want to leave it totally to the last thing I draw, so I'm working on it with the rest of the drawing. Get these arms in. And if you draw me before, I'm starting to use, already use generic arm shapes there. So your first arm shape often is that. You might start to kind of do this, where it widens here in there. What I'm drawing is like the curve on that side but then the muscle on that side. Cartoonists would call that a straight and a curve probably. So we do a straight and a curve. If that makes sense. The hand is, we have a square, it's holding this pole so you've got like the square, the flat plane of the hand. This part of the hand. And then the fig fingers are just going to roll around, and then the thumb's going to roll. Depending on what I do, it's just going to go there. It's that quick to draw a hand at that angle. So, kind of plan that always as like a square shape, and then draw the mitten, and then the thumb breaking out. And we've got the other arm dropping in. Let's just check some of our measurements. So, coming out further, I'm just going to. 
drop this down. I remember I rolled, make sure that connects, something like that. Because I want to get this other hand in. Because it will help with the lean. I've got the roundness of the hand here, this bit here. In a big, big area. Kind of got to fall in love with that because it, it creates that lovely shape there. And depending on what I'm going to do, the thing is I'll drop in suggestion down and through here. I'm going to drop in that arm, similar shape to the other side. I'm using a roundness. And then make sure this feels like it will connect through. I want a little bit more length on there, so I don't get too long on the, the back of the arm. Cool. I think we'll start working with that. <coughs> I didn't choke <coughs> first. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'm going to pull this shoulder in from that neck and also me got the trapezius coming in here trapezius rolling from the neck into that deltoid and playing with um, how you get the hollow in the deltoid and we'll, just out of interest I'm just building that deltoid in there it kind of sits there I'm gonna have the, the stretch down the rib and then it just changes direction about here where the rib ends and then you get the long stretch in there. We might get a little bit of squash in here. We'll put it in. Bang, bang. And then we're, um, we've drawn about everything I drew in that original image. So we're, uh, I was going to say making things up now. We are thinking about what we know about anatomy and searching for it. I will, about halfway down, suggest in here the eye socket hole, and then it's the same on the other side. And then halfway between here and here, I'm going to suggest the end of the nose plane. If you can kind of see what I'm doing. I am not drawing a hugely strong portrait, I'm suggesting halfway between the nose and the mouth, as a generic is my mouth shape, I'm going to suggest underneath the lip. From this angle, I will see the side plane of the nose. I will draw the bridge of the eyebrows. And I will curve the eyes, and I'm just going to drop them in. Bit of cheek structure, bit of structure on the chin. And then the ear right back on the jaw, cross from the eye and cross from the nose. So right back over there. It's going to really help rotate. It's really going to really help turn that head because I'm showing all of the side. The ear is right back there, not there. And we'll drop in like a centre part in. Tuck it behind the ear, something similar on there. Take out some of those construction shapes, give a little bit of thickness around that head, we'll just drop in the back of that. And I think there's a suggestion of a ponytail back there. If that was useful, my head feels a bit like it's floating nowhere, it's a different image currently. I need the neck in there. I think my head might be a bit small, that's why. I think I need a bit more thickness in that. My first drawing I ever draw when I do these is always long in the upper torso. And I feel like I've done it now as well. I feel like I want to pull that back a bit, which is probably just going to pull everything out. Mm. And what I'm going to do 
because I'm going to rub that out. I'm going to have the courage, and I apologies if you're drawing. Yours might not be wrong. I feel like I'm long in the upper torso. I'm going to do that. Because I know... I feel like it's long. It's too long in the torso. It's not working. That head was floating around. And uh, I've got to have confidence. These are warm-ups. To be able to rebuild those basic shapes really quickly. I've actually drawn the rest of it quite nicely. So it's a shame. But I can keep going with it. But the proportions are wrong. And all I'm doing now is blocking in exactly the same basic shapes, just at speed. And once you know the basic shapes, it doesn't take long to block in a figure. Now, that's not as nicely drawn yet, but there we are. I not quite have the angle on that I had last time. So, I have changed it. Let me see if I can uh, rescue it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just doing it a little bit faster because I've already basically spoken about it. Dropping in there, dropping in there, let's put this in, let's get that ear back. Let's get some hair back in there. Let's, let's not get hooked up with the whole thing. Let's keep moving forward if we can. Make them in there. Get some shape on that deltoid. We get a little bit of shape in here. I now need to get a little bit more shape through there. Get a little bit of angle on some of this. Okay, let's get that hand in, let's break that first finger and then put the others behind, we'll put that thumb in there. Right, that kind of rolls here, because of that you're seeing some of the bust, and then the rip. Shoulder blade sitting in here. It's long shoulder blade. I'll take out some more guidelines. Trapezius sits up in there. You might see some of the shoulder blade on that other side, but you're seeing a rib really, and then a change of direction. Back muscle would stretch up through here. Let's get a bit of shape on the leg. This buttock muscle we're rolling down, and then we want to get a little bit of curve in here, then pulling down. All right, and I'm going to pull the knee a little bit higher. And I'm going to change direction of that knee. I'm pulling my calf up a little bit higher. So I'm just Changing that leg a little bit higher. First drawing, look at that. Look how I've redrawn the whole thing. Ankle bone. Might suggest a bit of the knee. A bit more shape in here. A bit of curving here through the muscle, back to the back of the knee. That calf, you're seeing the back of that calf now, so it should, if you draw it that way, you're seeing the muscle roll in. Basically, it's just like a center line. The muscle sits a bit like that. It's rare that you see it quite as defined as that. It needs a bit more weight on the lower. It needs to feel like that. Sorry. It needs to feel like that on that. So you do that by creating a weight at the bottom there into that ankle bone into that foot, that triangle. So you're going to see from that angle is that triangle. And I'm going to pull a nice long curve down. I could get a little bit of shape in there. 
Let me just pull out, see where we're doing. Something like that. Needs to get my hands to meet up a bit. Very gestural this first bit. A bit more shape on those fingers if that's what I'm running with. Okay, I kind of wrestled it back in. Put a bit more shape in that. You can get like this, as you thin down here, you can get a curve like this over the top of the foot. I think I'm mumbling now. And although that works as a default foot, I need a bit more shape in that. Heel, ball of the foot, toe. Right, we need to toe. That's what I feel about that one. I wrestled that in. And uh, we are just going to play with some light. So my lights come in, I guess, this way. So I'm going to get a little bit of shape around that buttock. It's basically this side's in shadow. It's going to come around this muscle and back around to the back of that knee. And my core shadow line. Coming around that calf. Down through the lower leg into the ankle. So now you've got underneath the buttock coming up to the gluteus maximus. And we'll take it around there. In the hollow, we'll darken it slightly. And we'll let all this side be in shadow. Car shadow. Car shadow. Hmm, some of this is going to catch the light, probably. I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if that works. I'm going to block out that knee on top of that calf now. out that foot. I was, what I was doing was creating a little bit of light catching the heel. Maybe a little bit of car shadow under there. We'll see. Okay, and around that shoulder blade, the side of the shoulder blade, and then the side of that rib coming to that back muscle. And I'm going to drop all that So I'm going to come around this deltoid. Make sure a little bit on the top of that bicep, but pretty much a lot of this is going to rock away. On the face, I'm going to come down the temple, got one underneath the eye, around that cheekbone. So I'm going to drop the front plane of the head out, but I'm going to keep some of the nose, like the side of the nose, maybe a light in the light still. A little bit from the ear, a little bit in the head. Right, drop shadow underneath that neck, coming over that trapezius. Bit of tone work on that other shoulder blade, I can't really see what's going on there. Let's think about from that back muscle, the, the, it comes, it comes into the spine. Oops, comes into the spine. The spine is like um, your spine. Your back muscles roll into the spine, so your spine is in slightly. Otherwise, you would lay on your spine, and you can't. That that would be very painful. I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I know what I was trying to say. I'm not sure I said it very clearly. 
Right, I'm going to leave that one. Something like that. We've had a little play. Boop. 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 Let's do another one, shall we? And uh, how about this one? That's kind of cool, isn't it? Push this right over. Let's see if I wrestled that one. Let's see if I can do this one. We'll come across the shoulders. And look how almost horizontal that is, that rib cage. And almost how vertical this lower torso becomes. Which is cool, man. And it's great because the, the the rib comes right over there. You're seeing all the back plane of the figure. So almost you can build that pear shape in. So I can get something like this in and come right up into that hip. Because on the other side you're going to have the simplification of that pear shape as well. The other side of it. Something like that. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong tour. Yeah, yeah, so you can see the front of the <coughs> front of the hip coming down here. But let's put some legs in just to get some measurements. So you're off I was on the last one. You're gonna have the buttock sitting here, and then I want that that leg. I'm on the angle on that. I'm not sure I got the angle there. It wants to come out. Just building the boxes of that leg. I'm gonna put that calf in. This length should feel similar to the other length which didn't get right earlier got too long isn't it and again a similar foot from before let's keep that buttock high look how high I've drawing that compared to that and then I wanna this leg wants to pull back right so I'm wider here than I am here Gonna end that and suggest that knee, get a little curve in that shin from this angle and draw in the back of that calf down. And I'm gonna at the moment put in this just that triangle suggestion of that foot. Let's put that deltoid in. Hopefully my measurements are better than the last drawing. I'm gonna put the bicep tricep in. Building that shape in the forearm. I'm putting naturally a bit of shape in there straight away. And I'm going to build the hand. I'm going to change direction. I'm going to build the, the mass of that thumb. And the fingers are in there somewhere. Pulling into the bicep. 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 But, uh, Pectoral muscle, sorry, brain left me there. Into the pectoral muscle. In the back here, you're going to have the lat curving up into the rib. And rolls through in there. I've got the bust sitting on the front of the chest plate. So I might even see a bit of pectoral muscle there into that bust. I'll put the aureoli in just to help direct gravity on that. Whoa, he says. On the other side of this, I'm going to see the the other side of the pectoral muscle into the bust, and then enjoy enjoy the rib, and then the change in direction from the rib into that stomach. We need the hollow for the neck, so I'm going to put like the pit of the neck, which needs to come off just up from that pectoral muscle I suggested. And then that might help me build how I want to get this neck in and how I'm going to get this head. And we'll see if I can wrestle this generic shape in. Something like that. On this side, we were seeing a shoulder, this like the, sh the deltoids rolling around. 
I drew some of the arm in. I'm showing too much of that arm there. And this arm is so that arm is totally foreshortened. And I wonder if the model was um there was this pole in there again. So this pole sits down there. We shall see. I'm just going to pull that a bit closer to that. It's more about my drawing now than the original. I'm going to draw that a little bit lower. And we'll see. I'm going to show less shoulder if I can. Cool. Let's get that butt again. What I'm going to do is try and draw the back of that sacrum in. So this diagonal wants to correspond there, which should correspond in the hips. So I'm going to make this buttock roll in to that sacrum and up, up into that hip. <coughs> Clitness Maximus will be, I don't know, somewhere in there maybe. Helps me maybe think about the hollow in there and try and get a bit more shape. That whole side wall of that buttock. I'm going to roll that right up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this, the back of the external oblique. It's going in there. I'm going to try and lift that buttock muscle. Curve it that way to help lift with that. That's the back of the Icarus crest. The spine needs to come right down into there. On here, then, you might get a little bit of shape rolling down into there, into the back of the knee. I'm going to roll a little bit of a curve there as well. Nice roll down. Show the knee. Back of that calf. Let's define the back of that calf a bit. You've got the middle point of that calf just dropping in here. Down into the ankle bone. So just neaten up those lines. Get a bit more definition on that foot. Right, a little bit of shape here, and then rolling into that back of that knee again. And then let that come right down to just that knee shape and that calf again. This is more side on, I'm not seeing like the centre line. I think I'm drawing this very stylized. Ankle. This is curving slightly and then a little curve there, top of the foot. And I'm going to try and get a little bit more shape in my foot. Things in. Cool. Right, let's get into this upper torso. So we've got the end of the rib. Roll in there, so you get that motion around here, but I've got that rib. Oops. I might even like in the end come like further down in there. Move that arm, get a little bit of shape on that bicep. I'm going to pull that a little bit higher. And enjoy the weight of that deltoid. Need a little bit more length on that deltoid. It's going to sit in like that. Shape, and then back of the hand. And I'm suggesting the fingers here. Collarbone there. Hang on a second. Oh, 
apologies. I am back. Shoulder. A little bit of shape down through the bust there. I'm rolling through here. Um. I'm just fiddling about, I'm not being very cohesive, I know, sorry. Let's go into this head, and we're going to have a headless wonder. About halfway is my eye line, isn't it? Now, I've, on this one, I've drawn a little bit, it's quite nice, I've drawn a little bit of rotation, like it's a little bit three quarters, showing off. So I've got that eye in there, we've got the top of the nose. The lower plane of that nose, about halfway then. Maybe the lip, underneath the bottom lip. Let's get that little jaw in and round it, and get the ear right back from the nose and the nose and the eyes. And I will suggest this hair tucking back from that ear. Maybe there's a. A ponytail that drops back. Oops. Something like this. We'll see how that's looking. Yeah, I thought my head is crumped down a little bit. Keep drawing that today. That hand doesn't feel very relaxed. I might break a finger out. Apparently I'm going to do something like that. <laughs> I feel more relaxed. Maybe. Um, cool. It's in the right direction, I guess. What I'm going to do is put some shadows on that. Drop that right down. And... Uh, okay. Cast shadow under that chin. I'll put a little bit under that chin anyway. Under that armpit, darkest area. And can I roll? Where do we cast shadow from the bust? And the shat here. I'm going to have like the part of the arm that's the side wall that's not in light, so I'm going to come around, around the bust, around the pectoral muscle, around that deltoid, around that bicep. And then around that forearm. And then part of the hand that's out of the light. Probably a bit stylized. So on here then I want to create some of the roundness of that rib. So I'm kind of up into that rib. Blow on that car shadow from the bust. And I'm gonna light's gonna catch some of this. I'm gonna kinda put like this car shadow. But then I'm gonna allow the light to catch some of this buttock. I'm gonna curve there and put the underneath of that buttock and the underneath of that buttock into that gluteus maximus. I'm gonna curve through here up onto that leg. So almost I'm gonna drop Hopefully that feels about right. Some of that shape at shadow. Now under here, actually, this isn't going to, this is going to come out of light. So we'll come down there and put some of that front plane out as well. Now we'll put a car shadow from that buttock, and we're going to roll around that leg muscle up in here. And we're going to just be really simple and drop this shape out around that calf. We're going to roll up into that calf around down to that ankle bone and the front plane of that foot is out of light so again you might have a little bit of car shadow from that buttock and supposedly it's that front edge that's a little bit out of light I'm 
and put some underneath that calf. A little bit of cast shadow from the top of that. And I might do something like this and then drop a lot of the front of that foot again out of light. So in here, bit of the bust that's not catching any light, that f that arm, I could probably darken that to pull, make sure the bust sits off it. Then up through here, this side, nice curve through there. Drop shadow from the hair, underneath the eyes, underneath that nose, maybe underneath that cheekbone, very lightly. Stylizing that a bit, a bit darker back there. Side of that hair. You can have a little bit of your car shadow and all kinds of things dropping in there. Darkening there. Da, 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 da. That will probably do for now. If that works. Hopefully that works. Cool. I'm trying to choke myself this time. Two drawings. They're okay. Right, we'll do one more. Are you still with me? You are still with me. I'm not sure how um, clear I'm being today, but I guess that's that's the nature. I can't can't force these things. Let's try this one. It's quite a nice. There's a lovely lean on it. Let's see what we can do with that. And just changing my layers. Change my brush a sec. I'm doing this really simplistically. There is on this drawing a slight diagonal that way in the upper torso. Because then we can get a nice squash and, and stretch. So we've got something like that going on. Something like that. And a really strong diagonal there. If we're going to make this work, the hip is like right up here. That makes sense. Oops. Because then that leg almost drops down. There's like the uh, the gesture, like that. And then because this one drops right up, and almost I want the gesture to be that. I'll put too many lines in there, but you get the idea, hopefully. Although they keep, they keep the angle of the. They, the foot keeps that flow. Now I've got to make sure she doesn't fall over. So I've got to keep the head over. It's got to come above my foot. Head's got to sit above that foot, and I'm going to have to pull that shoulder right over. So I've deliberately capped off a bit of that shape, and I've gone f upper arm, forearm, the kind of square shape I built for the hand, and then the fingers. I still think I'm going to fall over if I'm not careful. So what that means is I'm just going to make sure this comes back a little bit more if I can. Got to keep the weight. So as dynamic as I make it, I've got to keep the weight or it's going to fall over. And the foot, I think it's lowered down there. Let's see if I can make that work. I'm going to put, I feel like I want to put the centre line in for the stomach right over there fairly early. I want to build this. Or like if I imagine the stomach sat in there and then the belly button's right over there and I come around this shape down into the groin. Just lightening out all my searching marks. So I'm gonna build around this groin and lighten this out. I've got a rib cage here rolling up. Where's that sternum? Down over in there. 
So there's the other side of the rib into that crunch. Crunch. Stretch. And I'm going to drop out on that hip. Duke. And then I'm going to enjoy kind of like how the leg bone pushes this leg right out. This knee on here is, is not correct. It's too far out. Let's put some generic, a generic leg shape in. Something like that. Let's jump in here and then we're going to go, look, I want that hip right over there. So I'm actually going to drop that hip right up there. And then I'm going to straighten up and then come into that leg bone. So the groin will roll here and around that stomach mass. And hopefully I'll get that. The shape's kind of working. Let's make sure we've got enough mass in it. Although I'm turning the leg, I want to put the knee back a little bit more. Not completely center, but a little bit more towards that center. And then the shin can be here, and I can show a little bit of the calf on that side, but the majority of the calf on this side. I'm just going to zoom out to make sure my measurements are working. Curve through that foot, get some of that heel in, drop the ball foot and drop the toe out if I can. It's out right out there in the ankle bone. Remember it comes really important in turning a foot, that ankle bone. I think I should almost be side on there, yeah. Make sure I can feel like I can actually turn it that much. From there, the knee is going to be setting in there, so I'm going to get this calf in, drawing the weight of that calf. Remember that should be feel like that and like that. And then that ankle bone. Oh, wrong way around. Because that's the outside leg. So what I'm saying is the ankle bone on this side should feel higher and lower on that side. For that toe, just suggest that big toe in there. Kind of roll the top of that, get that big toe in, and the nail on the front plane. We don't need to do a lot more. We don't need to draw the whole shape in. I'm gonna. I am going to keep the weight that way because this le the way that the tilt in this leg is working. The whole, not so much the leg, the whole figure. I'm going to roll through in there. Something like that. To neaten this up a bit. Going to make sure I feel like that's working. I don't know if I'm drawing that leg too long. It looks very long, but it's kind of cool. I'm going to get a little bit more shape in here into the back of the knee. Start playing up in here. Down into the lat. The bust in here. Rolling in. Pulling up. Let's put the aureola in. In here, I've got some of the pectoral muscle and then the bust. I still want to see some of that rib at the end. Got the end of that. The rib cage dropping in here. There's the the ribs rolling around. We've got the crunch in here from that rib, that belly button right down in that crunch, coming around that stomach. A bit more shape on that deltoid. Little just building these shapes up now. I put my guides in, so I'm putting like hopefully strengthening the lines, shoulder blade, elbows in there. Let's 
get that knuckle in. We'll drop that finger out. We'll let these fingers roll around. Let's get that underneath that neck. Well, actually, it drop in this drawing. It drops. This other arm drops down, and then uh, it's the slight bend as this hand comes together. I don't know if that's a James Bond kind of gun thing going on there. Something like that. Quite accurate. Let's get into that head. Let's get the forehead in. Drop the end of that nose in. You can have the eyebrow bridge. Top plane of the lip, lower lip, set further back. Pull that jaw right back. Across from the eye and the nose. Look how far back that ear is. Drop that hair back. A little bit more volume on the back of that head. And if there's a ponytail. My model seems to have today something like that. That is kind of my pose. Might be a bit long on this leg, but hey, I've drawn it now. I'm gonna leave it like that. I think. Okay. Let's put some shadows in. Let's see where it takes us. Right, well, the light was on this side, wasn't it? So it's going to put a lot of this out of the light. Let's uh, sorry, I thought I'd drop that down. We're going to put the far side of that bust, there's the pictorial muscle on that bust, out of light. And then maybe we're going to come around that rib, rolling in there. I'm going to have a car shadow from the bust there. I think I'm going to drop all of that out of light. A little bit of extra shadow there. On this stomach, let's have fun with this. I want to come up into that centre, but then drop around and show a little bit of shape on the other side. Show a little bit of shape on that lower part of the groin. Kind of just enjoying the shapes that we've drawn. And we'll catch some of the light up in here. Bit stylized that, but hey, we are going to drop most of that back arm out of light. I'm going to get a little bit darker under there, a little bit of car shadow there, like a little car shadow through there. The back of that deltoid, like the edge of that deltoid, and that flat, we will drop the underneath of that bicep. Tricep and the underneath of the forearm very slightly. I'll put a little bit across that hand. Underneath that chin, car shadow. The back of that hair. And again, down the temple, down the cheekbone. I might let the nose just catch a little bit of light. And down the front plane of the face. Just get a little bit on the cheekbone. A little bit on the front. It's quite a bit of form on that head. I want to put a little bit here. And darken down by the groin, the car shadow, not that leg back. Drop a little bit darker in there. 
bit darker in there on that crunch. The ribs in there. I'm going to build a little bit of shape around this leg towards that knee. Underneath that kneecap, so it's like a plane of the kneecap. We're going to enjoy underneath the calf coming down through here. On this side, we're going to have calf shadow. I'm going to use that shin. I'm trying to use that shin to decide. And put a little bit of shadow on the other side of that calf, and then thinking about the back of that. And we might leave it at that. Put a little bit under that. that. Okay, I hope my arm's long enough for that one. Maybe a bit stylized with my shadows and mark making. And that's our little set of drawings today. Cool. Cool. I think that's it for today. The hour is nearly up. Thank you for. There's a couple of you that watched live. I hope I made some sense. Um, I shall be back doing some more drawing if you're watching during the week. Cool. I hope it's useful. Do give us a thumbs up if you can. And uh, subscribe, and I and if and if you post new drawings, hashtag Cardiff Life Drawing, and I shall see them there. Apart from that, everyone, thank you very much, and I will uh, see you next week or another time. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>